car the shower it's like 11 20. i'm about to go to sleep last thing i got charged by the real world three bucks this month i do want to make an effort to start using that more um i checked it up today they got a lot of courses they got a lot of content on there so i should be able to gain some knowledge on there i'll catch you guys tomorrow we got through another day brand new day it's friday boy hey, look. that's what <laughs> why you look like that bro all right we're on lunch we're gonna have to go get something my back is killing me bro it's my first time getting chick-fil-a in a while i just spent 20 bucks that's crazy i got mac and cheese that's all you're like the third person to call me fat this week <laughs> is this a mud thing i'll go to the chick-fil-a mug mall and be like construction worker mug thing so how do you feel working at construction bro? you feel like you have been getting skinny Nah, I just feel like I've been getting fucking fat like every construction worker there. Yeah, low key they are fat, huh? But at the same time, we're the ones doing all the labor. Like our job is probably one of the most laboring things. Somebody here's construction worker, they don't know what to think if they think of construction worker. Like if we hear construction worker, like... What do you do? Oh, yeah, exactly, what do you do? What do you specialize? What is the trade you do? Like why don't you just enjoy life? Yeah, I do, I just... I don't want to work right now. Trust me, fool, me neither. I woke up on the wrong side of bed, you know? Bro, when I tell you my whole body was hurting, from my fucking hands all the way to my back, to my feet. Oh my god, bro. I did not want to get up. I don't even know how I got up today. Me neither. I got three hours of sleep, bro. Three? <laughs> Crazy ass fool. Oh yeah, you be waking up hella early. I be getting like six hours of sleep, five hours of sleep, and I'm fucking over here dead. I need my ghost and shit. I want to make a video with Bradley Martin. I do too, bro. I want to fucking suck his dick. What? I was literally talking about that in the last video. Yeah. Like two videos ago. Why? How can I be in the right place in the right time to be able to meet him? These type of people? Yeah, like any, like anybody. Like I was also thinking of like Face Rain, mm -hmm. Face Bangs. Like those are the people I'm going to have on Productive Pothead. Like not even on no clout chasing shit. Like I just want to be able to have these shoes in my contact and just be able to like pick their brain and like see their perspective of life. If I really want to go to the gym. That shit is expensive. Let's go in there. I like, guess find out exactly like when that was going to be there. Like we know for sure he's going to be there. And then we'll go. I think he's there all the time. I heard, I mean, yeah, obviously, but only for from a certain time. It's not like he's there 24-7. Probably like in the morning. That's the thing is like this was like actually like a busy ass guy. So for you, for him to have time for you would be crazy. He's not busy. Fuck yeah, he's good. He's piping down his uh, his podcast partner. You're talking about Sarah? Mm hmm That's his bro. That's a dude right there, fool. That's your guy? Yeah, that's a guy. You know that? Did that? Mm-hmm. Sure's a guy? <laughs> no way, all this time I wanted to smash him. Mean, <laughs> fucking gay. All right, instead of only putting 50 bucks into my debt, I actually ended up paying my whole Amex credit card and that costed me $142. But now we're done with Amex. Now we're able to proceed onto the school's first loan. Hopefully we're able to raise the daily debt payoff, especially with this government job we are currently working. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and finish this and I'll catch you guys after I'm out. Yeah, Chick-fil-A is not it, to be honest. Mac and cheese was made. Chicken sandwich did not fill me up as much. Overall, not going back. I don't know why, my phone was at 5%. I'm guessing it was on while it was in my pocket. I'm gonna need to go to 7-Eleven to get uh, one of those little chargers for the car because I'm not gonna be able to do it like that, especially if it's a 45 minute drive. I'm probably gonna get home today like at 4.30, maybe five, because we are gonna stop by at one more place. I'll tell you guys more about that once I pick up the, the charger. It's sprinkling now? In a way. All right, but yeah, I'll catch you guys later. There's no way I just spent 19.50. 40 bucks in a day? Oh my God. Oh my God. Sponsor me, go. Face plan, recruit me. Oh my God. Let me know what you guys think actually about this because I know there's a lot of people that are FaZe Clan haters but I, I honestly loved watching them growing up and also I guess a huge supporter of the OGs such as FaZe Rain and all those, FaZe Banks, um, Adapt, Blaziken, 
I do, I guess, want to try to make it in face now that Face Banks is the owner. I feel like I actually have a good chance. This is why I spent 20 bucks. I really needed this. I had one, but it only has USB C. At least this one has both. Now, when it's on this, it's basically charging. But let's crack a cold one. Ooh, what the fuck? Do I take out some cash? I just took out some cash, leaving me with $65 in cash. So it was 77, but it was 80 bucks because it was a $3 fee. The reason it was 80 bucks is because this was 20 something. And then this slugger was 40 something. So from now on, I'm not getting that cart anymore just because $40 for a cart is low-key way too pricey. Or I'll probably come and get it when they have deals on the cart. Sundays, they said that they have 30% off the whole store. So if I would have bought this on a Sunday, I would have only spent $56. <sighs> I could have waited. I need to stop spending money. Doesn't mean I'm going to stop buying weed. I just need to be able to save money and budget right. I need to stop spending money on food only buying groceries i really do need to start spending money though like the 20 dollars at chick-fil-a i really didn't didn't really need to spend it because i could have only spent a little bit but i wanted that mac and cheese oh my god i'm regretting all my decisions today not gonna lie not gonna lie I'm regretting majority of my decisions. The one decision I don't regret is this. The other two though, spending 20 bucks at 7-Eleven and 20 bucks at Chick-fil-A, I'm regretting that. I spent more than 100 bucks today. That is so fucked. We're gonna have to make it back this weekend though. It's all right, we're making money this weekend. I just gotta do the right things with that. I really do. Trust me, I know what I'm doing. I don't even know what my balance is at right now. I don't want to know to be honest. I still have the $65 in cash though. It's all right. Money comes and goes. I really hope the paycheck for next week is good. Cause once I get that paycheck, frugality to the finest. I'm going to give myself a budget of $100 every other week for weed. I'm going to create my budget actually. My budget for every paycheck. This next paycheck is probably gonna go into like bills and then I need to set a certain budget where like I can't spend more than a certain amount on some things like food, weed. All right, right now it's 5.30. I'm about to shower. While I shower, I'm gonna transfer the footage over. Today we're not going to the homie Kev's house. Today we're actually just gonna be here for my workout. I'm probably gonna do some push-ups or something. My body's tired, it's drained. Construction has been beating my ass. These workouts the past couple of days have been beating my ass. And this weekend is probably going to kick my ass as well. But the marathon continues. Right now, we're about to open up this little sluggers. I had recently just started trying sluggers. I'm guessing I didn't know how expensive they were because I got it on a discount when I first got them. They're 40 bucks. Like, the fuck? I didn't know they were so expensive. I thought they were 35. But when the discount hits, it is 35. <sighs> I'm kind of still, not upset, but like starstruck of the amount of money I spent. Trust me, it hit me. And I I knew what I was doing and I kind of accepted it. You know, I always say it's the last time, but truly, I never know when the last time will be. If there's a last time. Usually what I say is never say you're never going to do something because you never know. <laughs> you got to be able to maintain your budget. You got to be able to maintain your thoughts. You got to be able to maintain a lot of things in life. And that's probably why a couple of things slip up because you got to maintain so many things that some of them you just don't think of. Sometimes when I'm so focused on business and making money, I can't maintain my fitness life. Sometimes when I'm focused on maintaining my fitness life and maintaining my body, I can't work as much. Focusing on maintaining my YouTube channel, I can't do other things. It's all about balance. At the end of the day, that's one of the main things that I go for with productive potheads as well is that too much of anything can be bad, but some things in moderation can be good, which obviously this is one of the things I think with moderation can be good. I am gonna be making money this weekend, but honestly, yeah, I, I really shouldn't have spent the amount of money I spent today. If anything, the only thing I really should have spent money on would have been this, the weed. I guess it's the little things, cause that's where the budget comes in, which is one of the things I'm gonna focus on. Oh my God. You guys won't believe this. I just checked eBay. I don't know why I don't get notifications from eBay, but 
Luckily, I checked eBay today and I got an offer for the Umbreon card. 15 bucks is what I have it listed for. But the offer is $14. Oh my god. Fuck it. Fuck it. We gotta make money. It's crazy because I was looking at this earlier too. The homie Matt, he gave me these. And he used to work at a card shop, which I find dope as fuck. But he's got some Pokemon cards as well and he just gave them to me for free. I really need to put these up to be honest. Um, I don't know what I've been, I've been doing. Pretty good cards too. That's what I need to do. I need to start listing Pokemon cards. So I'm, I'm probably going to do that this weekend, honestly. That's one of the main things I want to do this weekend. Because if I put them up on weekends and then, you know, during the week, they can sell at any time. So that's a perfect thing to do on the weekends. If you really, oh my God. If you really believe you could do it, you will do it. It's 10:30 right now. I uploaded my video, but here's the thing: like, it wasn't even on my mind that I didn't do my non-negotiables. I was just waiting for my girl to get home. Fuck! I was just like thinking about content, planning ideas, and I was like, damn, I didn't work out. 50 push-ups in one go i'm gonna try to do the rest of the 50 when we come back and read i hope we don't take long we don't know what we're gonna get yet we're gonna munch out real quick then we can finish the non-negotiables time to read it is currently like 11 20 i'm gonna have to read and work out on the quicks the missing link in all systems of education known to civilization today may be found in the failure of educational systems to teach their students how to organize and use knowledge after they acquire it. Damn, facts. Thomas A. Edison only had three months of schooling during his entire life. He did not like education, neither did he die poor. Henry Ford had less than 6th grade schooling, but he managed to do pretty well by himself financially. Specialized knowledge is among the plentiful and the cheapest forms of service which may be had. If you doubt this, consult a payroll at any university. I guess that just proves my point that the school system is dog water. <laughs> the school system has failed everybody. It's an employee making machine. 1137 on page 98 i gotta be at 101 all right it's 11 45 i just finished reading and i wanted to read you guys this little part right here we have in this country what is said to be the greatest public school system in the world but there is one outstanding weakness to this marvelous system it is free they only value only that which has a price. The free schools of America, the free public libraries, do not impress people because they are free. This is the major reason why so many people find it necessary to acquire additional training after they quit school or go to work. Many of you guys wonder why I pay for the real world. That explains it. I obviously haven't been self-disciplined enough to learn from the real world. I actually looked into it a couple days ago. There's a lot of lessons on there and I'm sure I can gain a lot of knowledge from it. I just need to sit down and watch it. The only problem is I barely even have time. As you can see, we're literally trying to survive here on this challenge. Like I'm about to do my 50 push-ups before it's 12. All that to say that I'm going to start learning from the real world soon. And not just from the real world. I'm going to try to learn as much as I can from anything. As you can see, I'm trying to read books. I also want to learn from the big people and what they got to teach. Um, another person is Iman Gazi. Who knows? I might get Educate, which is, which is his platform. We'll see. I just got to get time. 11.50 and we just killed that workout. Let's go.